Hey, what's up? I'm Mike from Geographer, and these are my marquee memories. The picture that I'm going to paint for you is a nine-year-old boy. He's been dragged to a James Taylor concert in some amphitheater in Northern Jersey. I was just sort of like, ugh, it was like being dragged to the mall. Then I, as soon as he started playing and I'm seeing all the people around me and I'm just like, this is a nice experience to have. That was when it formed in my mind, I want to do that for a living. I think what I admire most about James Taylor on stage is just, he's very captivating. And I think that really appealed to me because artifice, like kids can really sniff out artifice, I think, especially. And that's also the death of every performer is artifice. And it's the hardest thing to get rid of because you, you're, it's artificial what you're doing, you know? But he has to tap into that, that like vein inside of him and send it to all these people who want it so badly. I feel like I get, a lot of guff from people about him. Like, they're just like, he's not cool or whatever. And I'm just like, I don't understand why. Just because he's such a softy, but aren't we all? So this is just a mom warning. I'm sorry, I lied to you. So uh, my mom allowed me to go to a three day fish concert in Oswego, New York, when I was in high school. I assured her there would be nothing bad happening there. We were just going camping and then watching a band that we like. So right when we get there, uh, I'm hanging out with a bunch of older people too. Um, and they're all super duper hippies. And they're like, hey, we've got some mushrooms. And I'm like, I'm at a fish show. This is what I should do, right? And I'm young and I'm rebellious and I wanna have a great experience. When the mushrooms, when, when they kicked in, I just looked at my feet and I'm walking like many miles to the fish show, just looking at my feet. People are trying to get me to look up and I'm just like, no, 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 this is, this is where I'm at right now. This is what I like to look at. And right when chalk dust torture hit its apex, I looked up and I truly, genuinely had the thought, we're all connected. Like <laughs> there was a golden halo around the whole crowd. It was just like humanity and we're all connected. And I was just like, yeah. And then the rest of the time I was just like dancing like crazy. Also when I came back from that three day fish show, I was just like really into hugging. And in like Jersey, you know, in the 90s, there wasn't so much hugging going on, but I was just like, no, we, we should hug. So it was like a lot of like, I brought the love back. Bruce Springsteen is the all father. He's from New Jersey. I'm from New Jersey. I also did not like him until my mid 20s. And the reason, if anyone doesn't like Bruce Springsteen, it's because they're aware of him I think in the 80s to 90s phase. And the way I got in was through Darkest on the Edge of Town, which is a really stripped down Bruce Springsteen record, very different from Born in the USA. So the first concert I went to of his was after being obsessed with his music. And I and <laughs> so he comes out on stage. I think he introduced himself. So it's dark and you just hear, ladies and gentlemen, the only man audacious enough to introduce himself. Bruce Springsteen and then the lights come on and it's him. And just watching him control the crowd, that was so just indelibly burned into my mind that I actually had to recover from it. Like Bruce Springsteen is so tapped into you. He's like, you're at church. So then the next tour I went out on, I was basically doing a Bruce Springsteen impression. I crowd surfed every single show <laughs> and some of them weren't that large. They were just in like, like in Canada, there were some bars and I just, would just like get up on the bar and then jump. And it was so exhilarating, but it was because I saw Bruce Springsteen and I was just like, Bruce, you gave me wings. I'm going to do it. Um, but, but the concert, it was just so interesting to just be introduced to the church of Bruce. And it's been a long, great journey ever since. Thanks for listening to My Marquee Memories. Catch me on tour to make some of your own.